In a nutshell, advertisers can collect all the parts of your digital footprint with cookies and other tracking elements. You use different devices in the same location and log into the same accounts using them. This way, all your gadgets can be tied to your digital profile and used for targeting advertising. Eventually, data collectors build up enormous databases with nuanced profiles for any certain individual. In fact, one re researcher asked an online tracking company for all of her data and received a huge report containing 5,300 rows and more than 46 columns worth of information. The records were disturbingly specific from recent travels to prefer preferences in bagels. The fact that someone knows all this information about you is unnerving. The resulted targeted ads are annoying, but it doesn't stop there. If you live in a high income country or use an expensive device, you may be led to higher priced goods. Personal data collection is more than just an individual issue. For instance, Facebook has over 2.4 billion active users. Having the personal information of such a large number of people gives the social network enormous power and implies heavy social responsibility. However, Facebook and the companies it owns are regularly involved in privacy scandals. The infamous Cambridge Analytical case is an example of a huge political manipulation based on the private data obtained through Facebook without user consent. Moreover, no data collection company is immune to hacker attacks and breaches. Large-scale data breaches happen regularly, and even tech leaders are not very good at handling them. At the bottom of it all, you risk losing your personal details to some cyber crooks. That's just terrible, right? Luck luckily, you can fight private data tracking and its consequences. What you can do to minimize tracking and ads. You deserve control over what's collected about you and what's displayed to you online. I'm not doing that. 